can help us better determine what we should target as a percent of mature cow size or our targeted breeding weight. Some of the factors that can be included to be able to think about what you want to target would include obviously your herd mature cow size, your all your resources available, whether that be labor, whether that be feed, uh, breeding technologies you might want to implement. But what these are going to do is these are going to help you determine where on that spectrum the research says anywhere from 50 to 65 percent of mature cow weight it can be an ideal place but that all depends on what the goals for your operation are what you have available and the inputs you have at your disposal having that in mind though can help you get to that targeted breeding weight so that we can make a proper average daily gain calculation for this scenario let's say that we are targeting 60 percent of a 1400 pound mature cow weight that means our ideal breeding weight would be 840 pounds. If our heifers are currently weighing 740 pounds, we need them to gain 100 pounds between now and June 20th, or 90 days away, making our targeted average daily gain close to 1.1 pounds per head per day. While overall we'll target that 1.1 pounds per head per day average daily gain, keeping in mind that there is opportunity to be able to adjust that whether we drop that or increase that throughout the, the development period, we are able to account for things such as cold weather. So if we go through a spell wherever we're experiencing below average colder temperatures and that heifer isn't coming out on the other side, that cold spell in the condition you want her to, take that opportunity to increase that average daily gain to get her back on the correct trajectory for that development enterprise. Up until this point, we've talked about making sure that we can get those heifers to that targeted breeding weight. But really, a lot of times, the issue could be getting them over-conditioned and having them blow past that targeted breeding weight. Being able to make sure that we are providing as much and ensuring that we're getting all the nutrition in front of these heifers that we want them to have, but not over-conditioning those females, because then you're going to start developing high-maintenance females that are going to require a higher level of body fat for breeding success in the future as those two and th or as those three- and four-year-old cows in our herd. So, making sure that falling back on that research that shows you that heifers that are bred at a body condition score 7 or greater are going to require that higher level of back fat or higher level of body fat to be able to breed back. Targeting a body condition score of a 5 is ideal from both an economical standpoint as well as a herd longevity standpoint. In recent years, the expanded conversation around heifer development has allowed for examination of different techniques that can be used in different operations. Each operation has its own set of constraints to work around, and so the heifer development opportunities might look different. It may consist of a delivered TMR so that you know everything that goes in and out of that heifer nutritionally. It may look more like a graze diet depending on feed and labor resources available. And it could also look like a combination of both of those, so that way you're maybe getting the better bang for your buck on implementing breeding technology. But whatever that be and that conversation look like, being able to make sure that you're evaluating your average daily gain calculations and revisiting them at appropriate times can guarantee the best breeding success within your operation. Thanks for listening and see you next time on Tailgate Talk.